Welcome back to Season 2 of the Discount Property Investor Podcast. Our mission is to share with you what we have learned from our experience and the experience of others to help you make more money investing like a pro. We want to teach you how to create wealth by investing in real estate the Discount Property Investor way. Make sure you never miss an episode and download the Discount Property Investor app in Google Play or iTunes today. To jumpstart your real estate investing career, visit freewholesalecourse.com, the most complete free course on wholesaling real estate ever. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, welcome back to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. This is a pro tips, short clips episode. Uh, Right now, it's just Mike. I'm driving around in my car, actually doing a little driving for dollars. And I thought I would uh, just do a quick episode and kind of give you guys a heads up on what I look for when I'm out driving for dollars, as well as, um, you know, some tips about it. So recently, we started using a really cool uh, app for driving for dollars, and we're absolutely loving it. Uh, It's the Deal Machine app. Very, very slick. Uh, You can uh, literally just drive around and you click location, and the app tracks where you're at. And you click on a house, it pulls up the address. You're then able to save that property uh, to your list. And when you get back, you can either mail them directly from their uh, platform or you can download a CSV file of it and use your own mailing service to to mail those people or skip trace them and get a hold of them uh, and see if you can work up something out to buy their property. So it's the Deal Machine app. I've got a link or I'm going to add the link to it in our uh, show notes to give you a 14 day free trial. So that'd be the uh, https colon backslash deal machine dot app dot link backslash discount property investor and that'll get you a free 14 day link again i'll put that in the show notes of this episode um, that's really the um the big tip i wanted to give away today in this episode pro tip short clips check out the driving for dollars app the deal machine it is a beast and it's really changed the way that we do business Uh, Dave and I, we talk about how, you know, we used to drive around, we'd take a picture of a house and it would, we'd put it in a folder, you know, and we'd get back to it or we'd send it to the VA or we'd write down an address and it was just very sloppy. But having this app on your phone uh, just organizes all of those vacant properties that you drive by in your daily life. You don't even have to go out and specifically drive for dollars. Uh, Just when you see a house, you just pull up, open the app, click location and you can tap on that house. Uh, It's huge. So it's really been a game changer for us being able to uh, add houses that quickly to our list of properties that we want to try to get a hold of the owner. And that's the name of the game. Uh, Once you identify the property is getting a hold of that owner. So uh, driving for dollars. Let's do uh, one more little pro tip or something that I feel like people uh, overlook. So a lot of times when I'm out driving for dollars, I see properties and, you know, the, the, the simple tip is, oh, if the grass is long, you know, if the grass is long and it's all overgrown, you know, all the weeds are out of control, you know, it's probably a vacant house. That's a great tip. And it definitely holds true pretty often. One thing I would say is check out uh, the vehicles in the driveway. So if there are no vehicles, could be vacant. But if there are older vehicles in the driveway... It could be vacant. Or if you're driving or walking slowly, you can see if the license plate is expired or not. If you've got expired tags on a vehicle and it's parked in a driveway or off the street uh, and the grass is long, it's a good indication that property is actually vacant. We've had properties that we've purchased. The neighbors have actually parked one of their older vehicles in the car. So again, that's uh, that's that was a vacant property. You might have just driven by because there was a car there, or the owners just abandoned the vehicle. So the car is not getting driven, and they're not updating the tags on it. That house is just sitting there vacant, 
but there's a car in the driveway, so it's kind of deceptive. So pay attention to the vehicles that are in the driveways. If they, uh, you know, if the house appears to be vacant, but there's a car there, you know, it, it's a good chance it could be vacant. So just kind of keep those things in mind and check out the deal, the deal machine app uh, at uh, the link in the show notes here. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon on a full episode. Bye. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.